Welcome to part 3. While the work of the rendering on the back, the roof being fixed etc was going on, uh, there was also another worker that was re-plumbing the entire building. Um, I began to look at the electric myself. One of the problems that had happened uh, before we took over was, uh, should we say a relation of the previous owner um, was a drug addict. He had actually stolen all the light fittings, the wall fittings, the copper pipe, uh, sorry not copper pipe, the copper cabling and even the water pump from outside uh, before we actually bought the building. Um, as such it was a blank canvas, there was nothing to complain about the wiring because there was nothing left, he had actually stolen everything. So the first thing we needed to do was look at what we want to wire first, where we were going to put the main box etc and while that's going on the plumbing works going on in the back you've got the guys on the roof uh, our man which is a cracking builder highly recommend him if you need one he was redoing the door frames while this was going on um, I would collect materials for the guys bear in mind the call center still working at night but during the day I would take a run up to the hardware shop and pick up whatever they needed um, highly recommend the uh, Galloper which is the same as a Pajero um, as a vehicle for the Philippines they're pretty bulletproof although it did blow the engine up and had to have a new one which was cost me over a thousand dollars but they take a lot of weight I mean I, I I picked up all the floor tiles for the whole building in the back of that car. Not one trip. I just basically weighed it up on how much the suspension would take and collected it as and when. Same with all the toilet systems because we've got, I think we've got six toilets because um, obviously we've got, yeah, there's six toilets in the building. Um, so, yeah, so I was quite heavily involved but you remember I'm still running the call center at night while this is going on as well so you've got night shift is mind orientated where you're watching dialers and stuff and during the day it's physical where I'm manhandling um, quite large expensive heavy tiles as well now we were in the stages of getting the first three rooms finished which are we call them door one, two, and three, which are the three ground floor units. Because um, we were looking at initially utilizing these to get the call center running and then sorting out the upstairs later. As such, as we were looking at rewiring the cables, etc., and we've got the opportunity to take it down from the roof because we have the entire uh, roof section coming out, um, we began tiling everywhere. Because uh, the pipe, like I said, the plumber had already got the pipe work in. As such, all the toilet systems could go in. Uh, we added showers to every unit as well. And we tiled throughout. We used quite, well, they were expensive tiles, let's put it that way. Um, all the way through the building. Because I'm, I'm not a person who likes substandard stuff. I work in the construction industry. And although sometimes in the Philippines it can be a bit restrictive if I can afford it and can find it I will invest money it's why the toilet systems are the best quality we could locate the tiles are the best quality we could locate the electrics are to my standard uh, e e EU and pretty much the quality of everything is as I would expect for myself because that's one of the key elements about the businesses I operate in the Philippines. I don't run it as if uh, Filipinos are second rate or something. I treat everybody the same. Um, I've seen large businesses do it in the Middle East, treat people as second class, etc. Yet the whole point, if you're treating somebody as second class, I think you're actually beneath them. Um, because they've given you respect and dignity, yet you're abusing it. Um, so yeah we concentrated on making the place look nice and 
to be the sort of place you want to be working in. Prepare for part four of building a call center building in the Philippines.